We've been talking about compartments of iron, and um, today we'll be talking about the third compartment, which is the what? Um, storage iron, all right? Earlier, we spoke about hem iron, which you said is iron that is stored in hemoglobin. We spoke about transport iron, which you said that is iron that is bound to transferring, okay? Then now we'll be talking about storage iron, and we'll basically look at uh, the various sites where iron can be stored, okay? You know, compartments of iron is different from where iron is stored, all right? So, we'll be discussing storage iron as a compartment of iron in the body, okay? And in storage iron, we basically get to see the two forms in which iron is stored, okay? So now, um, iron is stored either as what? Ferritin or hemosiderin, okay? So you could see this is iron getting into the body and it's stored as hemosiderin or ferritin. Okay, and the amount of iron that can be found in the storage form is about what, 500 to 1,500 milligrams, all right? Uh, ferritin is a water-soluble protein ion complex of molecular weight, 465,000 kDa, all right? It stores about 4,000 atoms of iron, which is about what, 20% of its weight, all right? Hemosiderin, on the other hand, is an insoluble protein ion complex of varying composition and contains approximately what? 25 to 37% iron by weight. All right? So hemosiderin is derived from what? Partial lysosomal digestion of aggregates of what? Ferritin molecules, right? So this hemosiderin is gotten from this ferritin, okay? But you have to actually like digest ferritin, all right? So, I guys should know the difference. Ferritin is water soluble, hemosiderin is what insoluble substance. Okay, so you can see this you see iron stored in ferritin, and iron can be stored in hemosiderin. So, okay, so iron in hemosiderin is visible in macrophages and other cells by light microscopy after staining by what peels reaction or you could call it a prussian blue all right so ion in ferritin and hemosiderin is in the ferric form that's fe3 right so it is mobilized after reduction to the ferrous form by what vitamin c okay so it is mobilized after reduction to the ferrous form by vitamin c all right so vitamin c can also trigger the conversion of ion from the ferric form to the ferrous form also uh, a copper-containing enzyme known as what cellulose plasmine catalyzes the oxidation of iron to the ferric form for binding to plasma transferring, right? So when iron is uh, converted to the ferrous form, that's the Fe2, right? And there's a need for this iron to be converted back to the Fe3, it has to be what? Oxidized, okay? And the enzyme that actually catalyzes reaction is called the ceruloplasmine, all right? So guys, that's it about uh, the storage compartment, storage ion as a compartment of ion, okay? It's as simple as this, just talking about the various forms that ion can be stored, all right? And you guys should note the amount of ion that is available in this form, okay? You should note ferritin, note hemosiderin, the few characteristics that were listed on each form of ion storage. All right, that's it. And see you guys in the next area. Bye for now.